Today we're going to be talking about Aperture Priority Mode, one small setting that allows you to take big control of your pictures. I frequently get the question, how do I use my camera? Most people are actually shooting on complete auto mode in their camera, and they're trying to take that next step. But when you go to the photo classes at the photo store, they want to jump you quickly to shooting everything in manual. I encourage people to take baby steps to that next level. Aperture priority is considered still a semi-auto mode, but it allows you to create artistic, beautiful images by taking control of your depth of field. As a matter of fact, I shoot probably 90 to 95 percent of my images in aperture priority. The vast majority of cameras these days are getting so good that they can take really good pictures on fully automatic mode. But when you really want to start taking control, you need to control the depth of field. So before we go any further, let's clearly define depth of field. What depth of field simply means is how much is in focus. Again, is, is only a narrow plane in focus or is everything from three inches in front of the camera to 10,000 feet out in front of the camera in focus. So as you're moving towards creating beautiful artistic images, you need to be able to manage that depth of field and control it. When you're setting aperture priority, what you are actually controlling is the f-stop or the opening of the lens. It affects how much light comes into the lens. It's that simple. So when you're setting the f-stop, you're telling the camera, I want the lens to be wide opened, partially opened, or almost all the way closed. And by doing that, you control the depth of field. So in an effort not to get too technical here, I'm going to teach you an f-stop rule of thumb. The smaller your f-stop setting, the narrower your depth of field, the smaller the focal plane will be on your image. So if you're looking to take a picture of a flower and you only want the stem in focus, you'll set as small an f-stop as possible on your particular lens. If you wanted to do the opposite of that and do a landscape image, then you would set your f-stop up. Start with about an f11 to 14 for your higher f-stops to see if you're, you're getting everything in focus and you can play from there a little bit. But again, the, the higher the f-stop, the larger your depth of field, the more things that are generally in good focus. So again, using our rule of thumb, if I want a narrow depth of field, I set my f-stop to as small as possible. And if I want a large depth of field, I start bigger, starting at 11 to 14, maybe 22 if you have it, but start in that larger area. So now that we have f-stop set on your camera for aperture priority, what Aperture Priority actually does is everything else magically for you. You don't have to worry about all the other stuff. So that's where you can take that major leap in creativity with only considering one setting on your camera. It's really a major artistic jump. So Aperture Priority allows you to do many of the things of manual mode, but it reduces the complexity and still gives you executive control of your creation. It's really quite powerful. Be sure to have your manual with you as often as you can or all the time. So whenever you have these little questions and you don't quite know how to use that one little feature, go read it. And one more point, just keep in mind, your first million shots are your worst. So you have to get out and shoot. Experiment, 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 keep shooting. So that was Aperture Priority. If you have any questions on Aperture Priority or any questions on photography at all, leave them in the comments, ask them here, ask them on the blog, wherever. If you like what you see here, subscribe to our video channel. And don't forget, get out and capture the adventure.